toss, throw. We did the same thing. Toss, toss, throw. Oh my goodness, we've done the same thing three times. Toss, toss, throw. What'd you do? Rock? Rock. All right, he smashed me. We're moving on. He did it. He won. <laughs> we have the same thing like five times. Awesome job. Let's switch out from arm bands to leg bands. You guys can thank Clinton for not having to do all that again. All right. Please grab a big sip of water before we move on. We have a question of the day, of course. Um, last week, we talked about all kinds of things. <laughs> Our favorite activities over the weekend. We found out that a lot of us like doing outdoor stuff. We talked about things that we wanted to work on and grow and improve, such as patience, confidence, all kinds of things. Today, the question of the day is, tell us one thing about yourself that you are the most proud of. Feel free to unmute or give us a shout in the chat. All right. One thing that you are the most proud of. I have a feeling some of our swimmers are going to say something about swimming. Just a hunch. All right, let's see. No one? No responses? Kind of want to think about it, I guess. It can be anything. You know? Lisa says, two of the greatest kids in the world. Amazing. Quentin says, winning rock, paper, scissors. Steve, raising four kids who work hard, all with F names. I did not realize. All right, super cool. All right, what else? I want two more answers and then we'll get rolling. Use this chance to recoup, recover. We've got some more hard work ahead. And we're gonna do great, because we always do. I'm gonna start calling on people. All right, well, I think raising kids and winning rock, paper, scissors for the whole group is a pretty good feat. So we can go ahead and keep moving. Uh, if someone else would like to share something, feel free to throw it in the chat. Jeff says, showing up here today for a bit. Something better than nothing, movement's movement. I love it. All right, big sip of water. That's my tea, big sip of water. And let's come on up to stand. Okay. Heels up, butt kick. Incorporating balance and working our calves. So I want you to do your best to get your heels up, keep your heels up, and then give me some butt kicks. Now, there's a tendency here to kind of like wobble all around, move forwards and backwards. I want you to try and stay still. So use your core and your glutes to keep you still the whole time. If that is just not in the realm of possibility for balance, that is totally fine. Let me see some heel lift. Still, I'm not wobbling and rocking and shifting. I'm staying as still as possible with my body. Only my feet are moving, whichever variation you choose to take. Okay. For this one, we are doing two 40 second sets because this is part of our warm up to get the body warm. First 40 seconds, wherever you are, get your heels up. And either drop them down and up or heels them towards your butt. Kick it out. Woo. It can be hard to stay still. Yeah. Nice. Heels up, butt kick. Might have made the name of that one up. Good. More than half done. Then we're going to do it again. If you want to take up the pace here and you can do that, still staying still, which is very hard, go for it. Last 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, everybody rest. Shake it out. You can also always do these holding onto a chair, a wall, or something. You will not be using your core as much, but you will still be getting into those calves. Second set, heels up. Either lower and lift or give me some butt kicks. Let me see them fast. Yeah. Get those heels off the floor. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with your hands. If you want to put them out for balance, by all means, go for it. You can take them to your hips. 
You can do the YMCA, whatever you want, lot 15. Good, keep it up, keep it up. We have 10 for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, to continue our warm up, 180 half burpee mountain climbers. A bunch of good things all in one. How this looks, I drop down into plank. I go one, two, three, four, hop, twist. One, two, three, four, hop, twist. You got the idea, okay? You can always do it on your knees. One, two, three, four, step, twist. Or one, two, three, four, hop, twist. One, two, three, four, hop, twist. If you wanna do six count, you can do six count. We're combining a mountain climber and a burpee and a twist. One minute. Ready, set, go. And because we're doing a minute, remember, I was moving fast. We may or may not want to go super speedy right out the gate, because we got a bit of time with these. Oh, George, that looks good. Yeah. I like those hops. Amazing, John. Nice, Diane. Good. Half done, keep moving. Get that heart rate up. Mm -hmm. Jim, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> Last 20 seconds. Let's move, don't stop now. We have 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, two more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and come up to stand. So that is our first exercise. Next up, we're doing a circuit, same way we did with the arms. So we're gonna go through it one time and then we're gonna repeat it again. We have sumo pulse. So we're slowing it down a bit. I angle my toes out. I get really low and I just pulse it. I stay down the whole minute. Try not to let your hips or your legs Straighten up, just try and stay low, okay? One minute, let's do it. If you're needing more of a challenge here, pressing the outer edge of the knees back, by all means, you can lift a foot up. I'll tell you when we're done with 30 seconds, but if you wanna keep here, you better keep here and commit to it. And I know you can if you choose to, it's just a hard place to be, but we are already half done with this side. See if you can think your butt a little bit lower. Chest up, yeah. Good, keep pressing those knees back. They're gonna wanna flop in, say no way. If you have a leg up, we're gonna switch in four, three, two, and switch. Keep going. We're half done. Yes. Quads are burning, glutes are burning. If your foot is up, that calf is burning. We have 15 more seconds here and then we're done. We're gonna get our heart rate up in 10. Low as you can go, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Heart rate up. We're doing the heart rate boost between each of our exercises. 30 seconds, jumping jack. Ready, set, go. So we have that sumo pulse. We have a lunge variation. We have a Squat variation, and those are our moves. We've got four of them. Good. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Elbow to knee, hand to foot. Here we go. Up, kick, up, kick, side to side. Speed is up to you. Let me see a little pep in the step if you can give it to me. Get that heart rate going because the rest of the stuff is strength. Space, move. Last 10. We have eight. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Air squats or jump squats. Last bit. Go. That's the step. Totally okay to do a high knee. 
Either way. Half done. <laughs> Being very gentle on those knees, we do not want to pound our joints. Light landing. Imagine what it would be like if you landed on an air mattress. You'd want to land pretty light, otherwise you'd kind of topple over. Last three, two, and one. Next up, we have lunge, knee up. We're doing 30 seconds per side. I step my right foot back. I drop the knee to the floor as low as I can go. I pull my knee up, doing my best. I'm looking at you guys, not the floor. Doing my best not to let my foot touch the ground. I lunge back, up, back, up. If you feel comfortable, add speed. Otherwise, take it slow and controlled. Strength, no matter which variation we're doing, whether we're going fast or slow, okay? 30 seconds per side. Let's start with the right leg, drop it down. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. If you wanna add speed, now you can. But keep that bend in the back knee, get it down or to the floor. Nice. That's the stuff. Good. I'm seeing all different variations of speed and that's perfect. We should be doing what feels best. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the left side. Take it back. Pull the knee up. Back and up. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, these are phenomenal. Everyone's getting their back knee down. We're not cheating the move. That makes me so happy. Beautiful. Yes, I've seen a little bit of wobbling in there. That's great. Last 10 seconds. Sophia and Sydney, perfect. Mm -hmm. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into our heart rate boost. Then we're going to take a sip of water and a rest. 30 seconds, check. It's Monday. We're doing it. We made it here. We might not always want to, but I am so proud of everybody for sticking with the program. Yes, yeah. last 10. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Elbow to knee, foot to hand. Let's go. Up, kick, up, kick. Got Instagram going. We got Zoom going. We got our heart rate going. It's a nice sunny day here in Los Angeles. Hoping some of you see some sun soon if you're not getting it now. Two little things, right? That's good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Air squats or jump squats. Go up, 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 or lift, lift. Either way, get as low as you can. Move through it. Yes. I'm seeing air. <laughs> nice, last 10, give me at least three more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. The last move of our circuit, and then we go through it again. Prisoner squats. Got a water glass in my frame, here we go. All right, so if you have tender knees or knee injuries, there is a modification for this. In an ideal world, or in a world, if this is the world that works for you, I start on my knees. I have my hands behind my head. I step up into squat, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. And what you'll notice is I'm not stepping up into squat. I'm staying low, and I'm getting my legs up and down, okay? If this is not a good idea for your knees, I want you just to do another set of air squats. I know it's a lot, it's really good for your hips. So, angling the toes out, as you drop into it, reaching the arms up, and then rising, okay? Other way, come on down to your knees. Whichever variation you take, one minute, ready, set, go. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And they're gonna be a little bulky, not bulky, jerky, awkward to start. 
that's fine. That's your body getting used to doing something that might be new. I like to recommend stepping your feet externally rotated out to the side to help you stay low. Already half done. Good, if you were stepping with one foot forward, switch other side. If having your hands behind your head is making you round out your spine, release it, bring your hands down. You can always modify. Hands behind the head is hard. Last 20 seconds. Woo, good. Fantastic, nice dance. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I love it. In the beginning, everyone's like, yes. And by the end, everyone's like, oh, goodness. <laughs> but you're still moving. All right. So that's our set. We're going to do it again. Let's take a sip of water. Let's, let's take a beat. You can kick your legs out, move around. Try and think about what the heck is it that we just did. That's why I'm here. We'll go through it together. All right. So first up, we have 180 degree half burpee mountain climbers. So I make my way into plank position. You can do four, you can do six count, whichever one feels better. I go one, two, three, four, up. Switch. One, two, three, four, up. Switch. Okay? One minute. Take a couple, take a, take a couple breaths. We ready? We're gonna do this? We're gonna do this. All right, make your way into plank position. Half burpee mountain climbers. Time is rolling. I go one, two, three, four, jump, switch. One, two, three, four, jump, switch. Keep it up. Totally okay to drop the knees. But I want to see you moving because I know we can. And mountain climbers can be a slower variation too. You can work harder. I'm pulling your knees up towards your elbows, more core, less speed. You're still working. Movement is movement. 20 more seconds. After this, we come up for that sumo pull. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 2 more, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and rest. That was definitely intense on the heart as well. Grab another sip of water. All right. Okay, right into our next exercise. Sumo pose. So the difference between a regular squat and a sumo squat is in a sumo squat, my feet are angled as far out to the sides as you can possibly get your knees and your toes to go. And I say your knees and your toes because I don't want floppy knees. I want knees tracking ideally over your second toe. Just food for thought. And let's drop into it. One minute, sumo squat. I'm rolling. If you're feeling like you want the challenge, stay hands behind the head. If you're needing even more challenge, one heel up. Stay low. Stay slow. Maybe shorten your range of motion. It actually makes it harder. More control over the body. So we're not just bouncing. We're squeezing each muscle as we lift a little bit up, a little bit down. Take one inch. Good. Last three seconds on this side. Then we're going to switch if you opted for heel up. Four, three, two. Switch it out. Pulse it. Drop even lower. Move even smaller. Ooh, where are those knees tracking? Second toe. Good, that's it. Top of the head parallel with the ceiling. We have 10, get even lower. Give me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Jumping jacks, heart rate boost. Ready, set, 30 seconds, go. There we go. <laughs> All right, better. 
After this, we have knee to elbow, foot to hand. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hands behind the head. Pick it up, kick, up, kick. Hopefully getting a little sweat going, cycles are going, breathing is going, last 10. Then we're coming in for air squats or jump squats in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, let's go. After this, we're gonna take a quick sip of water. Then we're coming in to lunge, knee up. That's it. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7. Chest it up. 6, 5, 4, 3. Amazing. 2, and 1. Water sips, leg kicks. Okay. Make your way to the front or the top of your workspace. Lunge knee up. This time we are starting with the left leg. Step it back into a lunge. Now, is this what I'm looking for? No way. Get that back knee down. We take it up, down, up, down. That's what I'm talking about. 30 seconds. Move. And try not to let your foot touch the floor. Ah. I see John's dog just like meandering by. <laughs> Pets are definitely welcome at home workouts. Get them in here. I love it. Last 10 on this side. See if you can get that back knee even lower. Noticing if you're rounding out, we don't want to do that. Keep your chest up. Work your glutes. Six, five, four, three, two. Right leg back. Get that knee down. We go up, down, up. And back. Maybe one of these days, the question of the day will be, introduce your pets. <laughs> or your kids. Last 10. Keep going, keep going. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and heart rate up. Jumping jacks, 30 seconds, go. Perfect. After this, we have our prisoner squats or air squats, depending on your body. We have one last heart rate boost, which is this. And then we're moving into our core. We got a nice core set today. It's hard. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Up, kick, up, kick. See if you can bring your legs to your arms instead of your arms to your legs. You know. Woo! There we go. Keep going. Last 10. All right, fine. I'll do two. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get low. 30 seconds. Let's squat. It can be a baby jump. Nice. Oh, we're still going. Yeah, we are. How good. That's 10. Keep going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. All right. Bunch of squats, bunch of squats today. Okay. Your choice whether you want to do more air squats or come on down, prisoner squats. So, one thing I noticed is some people have their hands behind the head and they were kind of going like this. We don't want that. We want up. Okay? No compromising the spine. If you're doing that, just hold your hands or do something else with your hands. You can take them to your head. 
okay? Hinge line ahead is the hardest variation. All right, one minute. Air squats or prisoner squats, time is, time is, time is going. Up and down. Try not to let the upper body move. It is so hard. Awesome. Now, if you're doing air squats, also make sure you're not rounding out. Chest is up the whole time. Half done. Beautiful. Nice, John. So if you continue, I see this elbow. I love it, girls. Quentin, you've got it. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors champion does not stop. Look at him. He's going. He's perfect. Last 10. Good gym, good Lisa. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last heart rate boost of the day. We are tired, we are sweaty, and that is exactly how we should be after doing this workout. 30 seconds, jumping jacks, let's go. After this, I'm going to give you a minute of rest while I demonstrate our core moves. We're going to run through our core moves two times. And then we are calling it a day. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Elbow to knee, leg to hand. Keep it up. Half it. Finally, we'll come into our last set of squats. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last squats, go. Light on those toes. Light on those joints, most importantly. Maybe let me see some air. Half done. Ooh, heart rate is skyrocketing. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone grab water. Try and keep moving as best you can. Our three core moves are, angle this down a little bit so you can see. I'm out of breath. Air squats really get me going, or jump squats really get me going. All right, so it's a funky move, and that's why we're doing it. It's good for our bodies. Take my legs into a V-shape. I tap my fingers to my toes. I reach through my legs. I go up, I go through. That's one. Second move, I go elbow to knee, so I come into a figure four shape. I go crunch and crunch. To the side, elbow to knee, I do the other side. And last up, I bring my arms down and I do bicycles. I go single, single, then a double. So it's legs only, single, single, and double. So that is two full minutes of core. We're going through it once. Pause, we're going through it twice. And rest, first 30 seconds. Legs into a V shape. I go toes through, toes through. Time is going. And I love this move because we're forcing our hamstrings to lengthen and our hips to open as we're doing it. And no, it's not comfortable, but keep driving your heels up towards the ceiling. Last 10 seconds. Yeah, really get off those shoulders. Crunch the upper abs. Awesome, Quinn. Good. In five, we're going to set the feet down. Three, two, and one. Reach your feet into the mat. Take your left ankle over your right knee. Crunch it up, down, up, down. Find contact between your left elbow and your left knee. Ooh, that's it. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Getting a little oblique work. 
Mm-hmm. Good. We're going to go right into the other side in six, five, four, three, two, and switch it up. Right ankle over left knee, 30 seconds. After this, we have our legs only bicycles because I couldn't think of a better name for it. Ooh, there we go. Keep going. Core is, in my opinion, the most important thing we will do in this entire workout because it is the center of every movement of your entire body. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Root the feet into the floor. Reach your arms up and back behind you. Bring your arms down by your sides. Knees come in. I go single, single, double. This is it. And I mean it about the core. If there is one part of your body that I would encourage strengthening the most, not for aesthetic reasons, but simply for safety reasons, avoiding injury and being able to control the rest of your entire body, it is your core. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knees into the chest. Take a breath. We're doing it one more time. Yes. Oh, how exciting. Legs up into a V shape. Time is going. I crunch up, through, up, through. Get off those shoulders. Make it count. Good. After this, we're coming into a figure four crunch. Right ankle over left knee in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it up, crunch it up, time's rolling. Up, up. Ideally, this is working your core so hard that you are almost fatiguing or not feeling like you might be able to finish the set, and that's what we want, making us stronger. Brilliant. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Good. In five, we switch sides. Four, three, two. Keep crunching. Time's rolling. I see you guys are like, really? Still? Still going. One more move after this. We have the single, single, double, legs only bicycle. Yes, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Quick rest, feet rooted into the floor, arms reach back. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, bring your arms down by your sides, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, knees come into the chest. Last one, single, single, double. Your spine stays rooted into the floor the entire time. Otherwise, you are casting your back and not strengthening your core. And who the heck wants to do that? If your neck is getting tired, you can take your hands behind your head. Single, single, double. Otherwise, lift up even higher off those shoulders. Last 10 seconds of the day, then we're gonna draw the knees into the chest and rest in seven, six, five, four, three, two, knees in. We did the thing, rock side to side. Move your knees around one direction, circle them as you pull them in. Releasing the hips. Circle the knees around the other direction as you continue to pull them into the mid on the body. And then start to rock and roll up and down along the spine until you come up to sit. Send those legs out, hamstring stretch. Let everything hang and rest. Grabbing your toes does not matter here. What does matter is you let the weight of the upper body just pull you into the deepest fold you can get. Good. And roll on up to sit. Pop yourself up to stance. Take your legs wide, 
Big old bend into the left leg. Drop your hips down and also back. Feeling a big stretch here. If you can get lower, go lower, but it doesn't matter. You want to be stretching this leg and you know where you feel that. All right. Switch sides, big old bend into that right leg. You can take forearms to thigh. We can drop lower, but we want to keep this right heel rooted into the floor. If it pops up, we're just contracting our calf. And we don't really want to do that right now. No more for a stretch. All right. And come back up through center. Clasp your palms. Extend them forward. Reach them up. Press the ceiling away from you. Getting a stretch across the shoulders. And release them. Bring the hands together. Round of applause. Awesome Monday. We did circuit today. Great job. Have a good rest of your evening. And I will see you all tomorrow. All right. I still want to know what you're proud of. I, I don't Take know. Care.